Oh, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Zheng Xie, and thank you so much for joining me again today. Look, guys, I'm very excited. Like this week, I did something that I always wanted to try um, in terms of switching up my diet. Now, you guys know that a couple of videos ago, in fact, it was my first video, I did something called the Vegetarian Challenge, whereby I basically ate vegetarian for an entire week. And man, was that a journey. <laughs> Um, you probably heard as a child your parents telling you, Eh, boy, eat your vegetable. Eh, boy, eat your brinjal. Eh, boy, eat your lady finger. And you know, as with any other normal child, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. I never really, really liked eating my greens. And I think this habit kind of brought itself into adulthood. Because I was never the biggest fan of salads either. Then along came Circuit Breaker. And prior to Circuit Breaker, I kind of looked a little bit like this. But after Circuit Breaker, I ended up looking like this. And I really attribute that to not only my crippling anxiety and self-hatred, <laughs> but also this religious-like habit of eating salads every day for a meal, and also, you know, with the right amounts of exercise and things like that. But the point was really because of that circuit breaker period where I consistently ate salads every single day for a meal, either lunch or dinner, I really did see a pretty marked improvement, I would say, or pretty marked change in my body as well as my general health. But, you know, fast forward to the end of Circuit Breaker, the start of phase one, everyone started going back to their old habits, including me. So I thought it's a very good time for me to do a little detox, bring on the old habit of eating salads, but wrap it up to, you know, 11. Because for this entire week, I ate nothing but salads for lunch and dinner. Because I don't really count breakfast in it, because I generally don't eat breakfast. And number two, even if I do, it's usually something very light, especially for this week. I didn't eat anything like, you know, your nasi lemak or your fried bihun or anything like that. I will either have oats or I will have like a small bagel. But I did eat salad for every single other meal for the entire week. So I really want to share with you guys some of the tips and tricks I've learned and also maybe some recipes, some, you know, little life hacks, if you would, on how to make it through this. Because prior to starting this, and I have a lot of friends who tell me this also, I wasn't really the biggest fan of salads because I found them to be very boring. I had a misconception that it was very dull, there was not a lot of taste to it, and I would not get full from it. So I guess that this challenge really helped me to kind of open my eyes once again to the variety and the flexibility of salad. Before we start, as usual, please subscribe, like and comment on this video. Share this video with your friends if you're interested in salad diets. And if you guys do decide to do something similar, feel free to tag me on Instagram on it. My, my handle is below here. And you can just tag me. I'll be happy to join you guys on this journey. Maybe share some tips and tricks as well. So yeah, without further ado, let us go into the one week of our salad eating challenge. Pyong, 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 pyong. So I'm about to go and do some grocery shopping. I'm going out to cold storage have my shopping list right here. So let's go! I realized having a shopping list definitely helped a lot in deciding what I wanted to buy even though I really did end up with a lot more things than I intended. But having said that, I want to move on to tip number two which is variety is key. If you're eating salads for an entire week, I think it's very important that you have a lot of different things so that you can mix and match your different options. So for salad number one, I had a very simple salad containing cottage cheese, hummus, assorted berries, rotisserie chicken, and balsamic dressing. Tip number three is to really explore new ingredients. I use halloumi which is a semi-hard cheese with a very high melting point and working with different ingredients really helps you to add variety and a sense of newness to your salad. But learn how to prepare this correctly because I did it wrong the first time round. You're not supposed to salt these, you're not supposed to season them at least in my opinion because I did that and it turned out super salty afterwards. Pop it in the air fryer and you'll be good to go. Personal preference of mine really is to add colours into your salad through the inclusion of a lot of different fruits because not only does it add flavour and sweetness but it also comes together and it also makes the salad a lot more appetising. Tip number four really is to make sure that you load up on protein, especially for salads because you're not really taking a lot of carbs into your body and in order to feel full, it is very important to have enough protein. So I use eggs, cottage cheese and a bit of the halloumi are cooked in this case. Tip number five is that dips are your best friend in this situation because they provide so much flavour. Just watch out for the calories. A little life hack here on how to make a simple dressing. Three parts oil, one part acid and you're good to go. I think this exercise really taught me that it is entirely possible to create a salad that is vegetarian but still packs a punch in terms of flavour. This was amazing and I loved it so much. And 
another tip is to roast your veggies guys it wakes it up and it transforms it and it makes it so delicious but maybe try not to burn them <laughs> Tip 7 really is just to mix up your dressings. I feel that it's a bit boring to stick to a balsamic dressing all the time, so I mixed it up a little bit. Just be a little bit cautious about the calories you're ingesting because some of these dressings can contain a bit of calories. Tip number 8 and it's just a personal preference really is just to cut up your leaves because I find that it's just so much easier to eat them rather than stuffing one whole leaf into your mouth. I would say really also try to explore a lot of different protein options and a lot of different protein combinations because that's one of the key ways in how to make everything a lot more interesting and keep things interesting. Another great thing about salads is that you can really meal prep them beforehand because you can have it either cold or have it warm. Either way it will keep very well I would think, in my opinion. Now you are bound to get sick and tired of preparing salads at some point of this challenge so don't be afraid to eat out. One of my favourite be salad stop at Iron Orchard called Toss and Turn. They serve a lot of different varieties and it's really quite affordable. Okay so I went for a grocery run to pick up some more stuff. Uh, I'm almost done with half of the things I have in this salad run already so I thought it was time to go and pick up some more things. So I'm excited to continue on part 2 of the week. Now when you're doing this challenge, there's bound to be a lot of experimentation going on and of course sometimes things are going to go wrong. Like in this case, I bought this type of pesto from cold storage which was just oily <laughs> and it wasn't really my cup of tea. Worse was the banana chips that I bought. They taste like little dry nuggets of sadness. Sweet and I really didn't like them that much. Now the thing is, look, you have had salad for basically half of the week. So it's important that you learn how to treat yourself. For dinner, we got some fish salad, eggs, pumpkin, smoked salmon, some grilled dory fish. The works, looks pretty good to me. Don't forget to also mix up the type of base that you use. In this case, I decided to use baby spinach because that's one of my favourite bases to use for salads. What I feel is the right way to prep the halloumi is to actually cube them and air fry them. They can become just nice little crispy nuggets of you know joy and happiness and saltiness. Another little hack that I have is to cube your tau kwa and air fry them because they turn out very crispy and very chewy. I also recommend using Rocket List because they add a very nice little peppery touch to your salads. Another place that I rediscovered is called Hakon at Somerset. They serve actually pretty nice salads. <laughs> it was a little bit expensive, but having said that, their portions are quite big and we do leave the place usually feeling quite full. And they have a lot of different interesting varieties, not just for meat eaters, but also vegetarian eaters as well. Okay, so full disclosure, I didn't really actually manage to take videos of my Saturday dinner salad. Reason being, I was in a rush and we actually were stopping by a bar that we really frequent and I did thought I took a photo of that, but turns out, you know, because it was so dark, I didn't really manage to <laughs> take a photo in the end. But it's basically the same salad that I had from Toss and Turn in Orchard. For Sunday actually, lunch, I really didn't eat because I was not hungry and I woke up pretty late um, on Sunday for breakfast so in the end I just decided to skip lunch altogether. So in a sense, yeah, I didn't really manage to you know, record everything uh, but most of the tips and tricks that I wanted to share are in there already. So let's fast forward to the last set of the day. Honestly guys, at the end of the day, I would say that balance is key. For my last day, I had a simple salad but I also just ate a feast with my family. You deserve it, treat yourself. 
Okay, so that's really it guys. One week really passed by in a flash, especially for this challenge, because I know when I first started the vegetarian challenge, it was really a struggle for me. And I think that having some of the prior knowledge beforehand really helped in making this week a lot easier. So in terms of things like preparing your shopping list beforehand and finding variety to make things work, I think these are all little things that we can do to make this whole diet plan easier because I mean ultimately it is a diet plan and that word plan itself seems to suggest you know a lot of thinking forward and thinking beforehand and I felt that it was helpful that I managed to plan kind of like what I wanted to have in my salad for the entire week. So that was good. So at the end of the week I really sat down and kind of thought about some of the previous misconceptions I had about salads because you know I remember I said that I thought it was very boring. I thought it would make you full. So Thinking back and looking back, I realized that really wasn't the case because ultimately I did manage to incorporate a lot of different flavors into my salad, um, either by exploring different types of protein, different types of dressings, um, even different types of bases and dips. I thought those combinations and permutations really helped to make this whole experience um, a lot more versatile and there was a lot more variety despite the fact that essentially I was eating the same thing throughout the entire week. You can think of it as like, you know, you're eating Thai fun, but instead of your fun, you're having salad. Right, right, doesn't that make sense? So yeah, it really was very fun, guys. And the plus side of that was that I really felt a lot of energy throughout that whole week. And when I weighed myself, I did lose a bit of weight, um, around one kg, I would say. Can't remember, but it was around, it was around that, that region. And you know, it also helped when I was working out because I really felt that there was a lot more energy going on. And I guess when you're putting clean stuff in your body, it, your, your body just responds in kind and it tends to perform and function better. So would I do it again? Definitely. You know, especially now that Christmas is here, now that December period is here. And it's definitely going to be a lot of eating. <laughs> in fact, I'm doing it now. In preparation for another staycation that's coming up. And I'll be filming that as well. So I'm very excited to share with you guys about that. So yeah, I will definitely do it again because I feel like compared to the vegetarian challenge, there was a lot more room for versatility. And I, you, I think there's this stigma surrounding salads that we just need to get over. Um, and by addressing these misconceptions, it'll make things a lot easier for us us when we are embarking on this kind of diet. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this entire week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed and you know, managed to learn something from this video. Don't forget, if you guys are going on this journey, feel free to reach out to me, tag me on Instagram, comment on this video. Let me know how it goes. I'll be happy to help you guys with it as well. Um, but until then, I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.